everyone. Thanks for joining us. Today, I have Adas Rahamim, who's the head of customer success and business operations for Exceed AI. And just like any other small business and startups that are in hyper growth mode, you know, getting the first customer success person to set up the operations is exactly what Exceed AI did a couple of years back. And it is with great pleasure to have the first CSM and the head of the function today with me. Before we start, I'd like to remind everyone, subscribe to our YouTube channel for all the great videos that we produce on customer success. So tell us a little bit about how they manage the customer life cycle in HubSpot. I know a lot of you are in a startup mode and or even mid-market that are using HubSpot and might be asking yourself the question, can I use HubSpot to manage customer success. And so I'm really excited, Hadass, that you were able to join us today to share how you're leveraging it and what other tools you're using for that function. Thank you, Ari. It's a pleasure being here. So I've joined Exit for uh, about two years ago. When I joined, they just had HubSpot. I think it was the free version. Pretty quickly, I've asked them to turn into the paid one. There's a startup program for HubSpot. Just a small remark about Exceed. We're helping companies reaching out to their, to their target audience, to their leads, qualified nurture and book meetings with them. We practically use HubSpot only as a CRM, deal management, task management, login in calls, etc. So it's without the marketing functionality of the product. So you only have the sales license, not the, you haven't bought the marketing module. For those of you who have HubSpot, you know exactly what she means, I believe. You also opted <laughs> into the support module. I know now they have that as well, or is it mainly the sales one that you're leveraging? It's mainly the sales one. Actually, when it comes to selecting my support tool, I've selected the intercom. It started, I think, with the visuality because I really wanted something that would be really easy to implement. That the health center would be very intuitive, easy to build, and for my customers to be able to reach out to it, the product itself. So we have like a chat button within their product so they can easily reach out to us. So besides Intercom and HubSpot, what other tools are you using and what do you do to share product feedback with the product team? When I joined, I actually saw that we were leveraging Asana instead of like Jira that the majority of the L&D teams are using. I found it really intuitive and that's what the R&D team are using. When I just joined, I saw that after an onboarding, when I want to share the next steps with my customers, I had to write down a very, very long email. I created a manual on intercom and then shared that, but I found that this isn't good enough yet. So what I created is like a template on Asana, an onboarding template. Whenever I have a new customer, I create a, a special template for him with all of, of the steps inside each um, task. You can see a description with a relevant article next to it. You can mark the sign, you can mark due date. So you can really communicate internally for the customer who is doing what. And it made my life and their life much easier. So how many tools do you have at this stage of the company? We're using AppSpot, Intercom, Asana. I'm using also obviously Gmail. For my own kind of like dashboard, understanding the status of my customers, I'm using Report Studio by Google based on BigQuery. I found it really easy that I can build my own dashboard and I don't need anyone from the tech team uh, to support me. So I can, whenever I have an idea and I want to drill into it, I can do it by myself. On top of that, I've been using Flick for recorded videos because each time you have a new sprint and you have a new version, you don't want to record again your uh, video. Like an updating the product training, you're doing product videos on training the users on how to adopt the product and different features. Is that what you're using this for? Yeah, like how to do that or how to add a virtual assistant or something like that. On top of that, I've lately started leveraging another feature by Intercom called Sirius in order to build like a journey, a user journey to my customers. So whenever you're logging in for the first time, you'll get a specific message and then after a certain amount of days if you didn't do that or that i'll walk you through that i maybe share a product tour or a, a banner or something like that on top of that whenever we have a new feature something else that we want to share with our customers or product release for example that's how we will use it you're also using slack for internal communications 
Yes, of course. That's kind of like the basic. I've also added something interesting with Slack. So I found out that I needed like an open communication with the product and the R&D in order for us to have like a mutual Slack group. So I've created that. But as you know, whatever you have a Slack and, and then one topic comes to mind, another one comes to mind and everything gets lost. What I did in order to have everything in place is I've created uh, a board on Asana with, you know, like um, high, medium, low priorities along with uh, stuff on my end, obviously, that the tech team needs for me to reach out to customers if there was an error or something like that. And whenever we create a, a task on this specific board using a Zapier, the Slack group would receive a notification immediately, mm -hmm. which, is, which makes sense for support. How are you using your own solution for customer success, if at all? Yeah, we we're actually just starting to use kind of like a referral sequence in order to reach out to our clients and ask them whether there's anyone else that you, they would like to recommend us. But I can share that my customers are actually using that to upgrade their own customers, plus converting their free trials into paid ones. What we're doing is basically not just sending an email, that's like any marketing platform can do. We're also replying. So whenever someone replies, whether it's with a simple out of office or contact me later in two months, it's like, I'm, I'm interested. What's your pricing? Can you share some more information? So we know how to take all of that, create an email and reply back to the customer. Tell me a little bit about how do you leverage HubSpot for customer success? I wanted my management to have visibility and transparency as well. I've decided to go ahead and build a pipeline on HubSpot for the different steps, stages of the customer journey, whether a contract was just created because the sales pipeline had a closed one and then automatically using workflows created a deal for my pipeline. And then whenever an onboarding was set, whenever they are in the progress of going live. And once they went live, we would usually move them into an adoption, kind of like an eye status, and then either to high or low risk. Great. And obviously churn or something like that, or resellers as well. Are you also using the system to track how much downsell was actually captured or upsell if you have that available for your customers? So it's something that we're just uh, thinking about how we want to reflect that. What we've decided is for upsell where we'll update the current, current deal, but if there was a renewal, then we'll create a new deal because first of all, many times renewal would be with a different price team because uh, customers have expanded and you'd want to reflect that. Mm -hmm. And how's it been so far? What was the feedback from your executive team? Are they presenting this back to the board? Did you have any iterations as you were going through this process? I know that for my management team that they found it really useful, the, the fact that they have transparency on everything that I'm doing. Plus, I think like from my side, it, it makes you focus more on what's needed, what additional automation you'd like to take in place. Sometimes maybe it's the time to even take a step backward and let your customers run their course. Cause many times at the beginning, you would want to reach out to them on a weekly basis, yeah. but that doesn't mean that they necessarily need it. So you'll need to hold back and let them play around. Currently like I'm meeting with them usually on a monthly basis and some even less depends on them, not me. What do you think? Is this something that you can continue using going forward or as the team grows this year, are you intending to, you know, maybe move to a customer success applications? What are your thoughts around that? That's a current discussion that, that we're having. I think there are many valid tools on the web, but currently the fact that I can have customability to everything that I'm doing is something that I'm looking for. I understand so far, each tool has its own limitation and you'll need the tech team to create events and support your cases. I'm not sure that's where I would want to focus my efforts and my, let's say, resources of the tech team that is dedicated to me. Instead, what we've decided to do is create more events back to Indercom and back to the BigQuery in order for me to have the information and then reach out to those clients according to their activity. And it sounds like you're also in, in HubSpot, you're leveraging quite well the workflow automation. You have one for when the deal is closed so that you can tell how many new customers are in, when customers are, are onboarded but have not uh, went live yet, when there's like an opt-out date notifications and following up with existing customers. Do you still do the notifications to follow up with customers or is that 
resulted in too many notifications for you. I know some teams do it and it's like, oh, okay, maybe just as needed. It really depends on how many customers you manage. Obviously, as I mentioned at the beginning, you would want to know everything and do everything and reach out to your customers. But as you grow within like the product and, and the company itself, you understand the things are working and working good. Like not, not, you don't need to be everywhere. How did you use the workflows or you have like a slide on sales and CS handshake on the company page? What is your talk track around that? So I found HubSpot really easy to customize. Whenever a sales team closes a deal, I request them to fill in a few details about the customer, kind of like in handshake. In some cases, we'll have a short meeting. In some places, I will just open HubSpot and see their details, their notes. And I think it's important whenever you can like to document in order to see what have changed and what was their, uh, you know, initial KPIs, what were their success KPIs. I think it's important to ask at the beginning, like three months from now, what would make exceed something that you can't live without? What would be your success criteria? With regards to workflows, I think whenever you can implement automation, do it. Why not? Why do you need to remember things? Why do you need to, to do things manually? I just don't like it. I remember everything, but I don't want to. I don't want the burden of that. What else are you using HubSpot for? I know you have the dashboard, you have the workflows, so you have some automation. Do you love it, for example, their templates? Yeah. Whenever, for example, I have a, an onboarding, instead of writing everything from the very beginning, I have a template that I'm using on my Gmail. I'm using their templates, their snippets, meetings. Meetings mm -hmm. specifically I'm using whenever I want to have, like, for example, customer success and sales meeting or customer success and product. So we'll have a share calendar that I can share with my clients. What about the meetings? You're, you said you're leveraging the meetings component. You do like team meetings as well, or just the setup is really connected to your calendar? It's connected to my calendar, to the sales team calendar, to the product, whenever it's needed. So I, I can share with the customer the calendar meeting link according to the need. If it's only mine, then I can use my own link for my product. We have this component as well that you can just use your own meeting link to share with clients. What about sequence emails? Do you ever send out a sequence email to a client? Let's say that's just onboarding, for example. No need at the moment. As I mentioned, we have our own tool. If I'll need to create a sequence, I would simply turn on one of my sequences. In Exceed AI. Yes. In your experience, do you get better engagement from customers when you use an in-app message or when you send out an email? We would want to use the in-app messages for something that is more generic for bulk of clients, whenever we want to share a new feature or something like that. But I would use emails for something that is longer, that they want for customers that don't necessarily log into the product routinely, that you do want to kind of like wake them up so you have to use the email for that. What if they don't respond to the email? Do you have any other tricks and tools that you use to get the engagement? I think picking up the phone is always an option. How many customers are you managing? I assume there's like the whole customer base, but you're actually manage a part of it or are you literally managing the entire customer base? So I think as of now, we have around 40 customers, but some of them are through resellers. Some of them are uh, high touch and some of them are kind of like low touch, meaning they'll reach out only for support or if we'll have a meeting on by monthly basis, yeah. which is kind of like easier. It's only maintaining and monitoring their account, making sure that everything is okay. Would you recommend for startups that are already using HubSpot for sales to incorporate that to their CS function if they have one or two CSMs? Of course. I found it really easy. You don't need another tool. Everything is in one place. You have transparency and you have the notes of both the sales and the customer success in one place. Well, we'll include the screenshots and everything in the description so that they can download and see more information about how you're actually leveraging HubSpot. I think it's a terrific initiative and uh, so brilliant that you were successful with it. And to the fact that you're actually recommending it to others, I think it's definitely a great step in the right direction for any startup that's just starting the customer success without, you know, overly investing anything else, kind of like a quick win to create that transparency for both yourself as well as the executives that founded the company. Hadat, thank you so much for sharing all your insights with us. Mm -hmm.